Hi, I'm Alex Mackey. And I'm Colleen Murphy. This is DP News. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, DP. We start this morning with a message from our principal, Ms. Carey. Good morning, teachers, students, and staff of DP. Over the weekend, I sent an email to all of you through EDU, and I'd like to read the content of that email now on DP News. To all the members of the DP community, the senseless violence that occurred in Isla Vista this past weekend has hit close to home and impacted each of us in varying ways. Many of our students and their families live in Isla Vista, and we received a number of reports of DP students who witnessed firsthand the events of Friday night or were otherwise intensely affected. As a public school, we have an important role to play in supporting the community through the wake of this traumatizing event. Beginning this morning and for as long as is necessary, we will have abundant counseling services available through the main office to students and staff who want or need help managing the distress associated with Friday night's violence. Please do not hesitate to seek help for yourself or to refer someone who is in need. In your email, you can find two links to resources published by the American Psychological Association that might be helpful. There are articles describing the wide range of normal feelings and effects that people experience as a result of being near mass shootings, and they suggest coping strategies. Again, please do not hesitate to contact me or any DP administrator or counselor if you have questions or need support during this difficult time. Thank you. Thanks, Ms. Carey. There's a memorial service today at 4 p.m. in Harder Stadium for anyone in the community who would like to attend. On a bit of a happier note, congratulations to the new leadership class of 2015. There are 85 candidates for 35 spots and it was highly competitive. As a part of your outgoing leadership class, Alex and I can assure you that this new group will be fantastic in leading you in an awesome year. Here are the results. Your book distribution was last Thursday. For those of you who, ha who haven't gotten your hands on this year's awesome book, you can still buy them or pick them up at lunch or at nutrition at the T3 door facing the gym. You can also pick up or purchase your book during regular business hours in the business office. That's T3 anytime outside of class. Seniors, we have five, count them, five more days left of school. On Monday, you will have to be checked out by your teachers and the library, so make sure all your textbooks are turned in and that you have no outstanding library debt, because mags will find you. And remember, you must stay in your classes all day on Monday. So, uh, But now, here's Matthew with the weather. I thought you said feather. Thanks, Matt. Hey, all you 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, listen to me. If you were not here last Friday, swing by the counseling office to pick up your class schedule for next year to approve or make any changes needed. Clubs meeting today are art, animal shelter, aquatic mammal discussion, ASA, bike, cool cats, economics, teen, FCA, vitamin angels, unite the light, ukulele, photography, math, and lakes of love club. Well, that's all we got for your campus news. Here's Brett with the sports. What's up, DP? I'm Brett. Our Chargers lost 9-2 to Pacifica in the first round of the CIF Division II baseball playoffs on Thursday. In the first inning, Dustin Demeter reached base on an error, went to third on a double by Luke Coffey, and came home on a sacrifice by Daniel Barrado. Pacifica scored four runs in the third and fourth, more, and four more in the sixth. 
DP picked up its other run in the fifth when Coffee doubled, went to third on a single, and scored on a sacrifice fly by Michael Bolter. Great season, guys. Softball rallied from a 3-0 deficit and scored the winning run in the eighth inning to beat Monrovia 4-3 in a tense second round game of the CIF Division IV softball playoffs on Thursday. The 20-7 Monrovia team hit a two-run homer off Evans in the first inning and added another run in the fifth, putting our girls behind 3-0 at the end of five. But our girls fought back and Allie Milam scored the winning run on a suicide squeeze. On Saturday, the girls faced Beaumont in the quarterfinals. Sophomore Jade Senskull slugged two home runs and a double and had five RBIs, leading the Chargers to an 8-1 victory. Senskull broke a scoreless game in the fourth inning with a solo homer. She gave the Chargers a 4-0 lead in the sixth with a three-run blast and added a run-scoring double during a four-run seventh inning. Pitcher Lonnie Evans took care of business on the mound. She allowed Beaumont just four hits. DP improves to 23-6 and host Santa Monica today at home at 315. So head out and show our girls some support in the CIF semifinal game. Track, and he track headed to the CIF Divisional this weekend. Addie Zarena ran to first place medal in the 3200. Stam Scarvelis, the two-time defending CIF state champion in the shot put, threw 52 feet, three inches to lead all competitors and win a division championship for the third straight year. She won the discus for the second straight year with a throw of 165 feet, 6 inches. John Dickinson finished 6th, and Joey Ochoa finished 8th in the Division II shot put. Sydney Eilbacher cleared 10 feet, 3 inches to finish 7th in the girls' pole vault, and the Emma Point Dexter was 9th in the triple jump at 35 feet and 9 and a quarter inches. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you today. I'm Brett. Have a great day, DP.